And we're getting your military questions answered by the Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral John Nowell. The Admiral is joining us now. Good morning, Admiral. Good Thank morning. you for being here. A Admiral, I'd like to start, um, as you're aware, there was a fire aboard the USS Iwo Jima. Right. It was docked here in Mayport. Have you heard anything about what, what caused that fire at all? Yeah, you know, so I was, uh, I was just uh, in Mayport yesterday with, uh, with sailors, including uh, some of the sailors that helped fight that fire. So the good news story is it was fairly minor. It's what we call a class alpha fire, which is kind of combustibles, linens, things like that. It, it really highlights, though, that the training that we give our sailors so that when something like that happens, allows them to tackle it, put that fire out um, so that it doesn't get worse and so that folks don't get injured. We're really proud of those sailors that did that. So is that to suggest that it had something to do with, with linens, or do you know what caused the fire yet? Yeah, I, so, I, so not, it's not in my lane, and I can't tell you the exact cause other than that there are flammable things on ships. Typically, you don't see something like that, but uh, but certainly they took quick and immediate action. And thankfully, no one was seriously Absolutely. hurt. Absolutely. To the military families who are watching, who hear about something like right. that, particularly those who live here locally, we sure. tend to think, those of us who are civilians, that the real danger is during combat. But that's yeah. an example of the fact that, that serving in the military can be dangerous regardless of where you are. That's a great point. You know, going to sea uh, is dangerous, and, and that's why we train so hard. We say that you'll uh, fight the way you train, uh, but again, sometimes when it's in peacetime, you have to use that training as well when something happens. So um, we asked some of our military families to send us questions that they'd like answered sure. by you. Amber tells us that her husband re-enlisted in April and that he was promised a signing bonus, but there's been a delay. Yeah. Do you have an update on when those might be available then? Yeah, you know, actually, um, so when we, when we do bonuses, we do bonuses for a number of different things. Uh, sometimes there's a school related to a bonus, mm. and, and you have to complete that school uh, prior to getting the bonus. There are others that you get immediately. There's no delays that I know of, though, right now with anyone receiving bonuses. Then um, we also know that last year the Navy opened two call centers to help, help sailors and their families kind of deal with a variety of problems that sure. they're having. Mm -hmm. How is that going? Has that been a tremendous help? in terms of the feedback that you're receiving from right. military families? It, it has been a tremendous help. Never in the past did we have 24-7 uh, contact for sailors. You had to wait to do it on our terms. When is the personnel support detachment open? Uh, and that's not all that convenient. Now, 24-7, we have call agents at a contact center in Millington, Tennessee, and in Norfolk, Virginia, too. So you can pick up the phone and, and get uh, a person on the other end to immediately answer a question. The response has been tremendous. We're getting about 1,300 calls a day. Um, the vast majority of those, uh, about 80% were able to, to answer or get resolution the first day, 93% within three days. The, the customer satisfaction rate is about 75, 80%. Uh, in the civilian world, it's about 60 to 70. Thank you, Admiral, for being here. Thank you. And in case you missed it earlier this morning, the Admiral walked us through three apps designed to help service members and their families navigate their change orders, deployment, even an app that helps them organize their moving expenses. You can watch that interview on newsforjax.com. We'll post it with this one on the Morning Show page.